there and drove. Just got my new camera. I figured why I had it hooked up. I'd give you a brief update on what I've been up to and a more in-depth coverage of what my power supply is and how I have it set up. Let's get right to it. All starts with the power strip. Yes, it is always wise to have one of these. Why? Because if you do short out and you have a surge, that will kick off the power and you won't fry your wall socket. Believe me, I fried wall sockets in my time and that is no fun. In front of that, I have my dimmer box. I made custom myself. Dimmer in the back, outlet in the front. Go ahead and get the power on, show you how it works. Make sure I can hook up to my uh, output. Unfortunately, it has a very rough wavelength, which means I don't really have very much variable. Like if I turn it way down, which I'll show you here, to where it's just on, you see how that's kind of pulsing? Unfortunately, that's not good for best projects. I do need a very uh, Any of you guys got good information on what a good variac would be? I'm preferring something more than 10 ohms because I'll probably burn anything smaller up. Anyways, back to my setup. I have three power supplies, as I said. This is my benchmarker and my smallest power supply, which is uh, 9, 6, and 12 volt. On the side over here, it's got a three position switch, which gives me different outputs. Like I said, it's also my benchmarker. This is my uh, higher DC voltage output. And this goes up to 24 volts. As you can barely see on the dial here, it goes up to 4.2 amps, which is actually pretty high for a unit like this. If I short it out, I can actually go even higher, but I'll burn up the transformer. My voltmeter, which is new. As you can tell, there's nothing to be hooked up to it, and it'll jump. And if I touch anything, it will not read. Burnt it up on high voltage, pump it out of 500 volts and put it by accident. Watch it arc out from the inside. And this is my big boy power supply. My Viz ISO tab, WP27 amp, 125 plus 25 variable output uh, isolation unit which gives me a total of 150 output volts at 27 amps. That is actually a very powerful supply. And it has a monitor hookup on it, which is nice if I do get a monitor, which I plan on. And if 150 volts isn't enough, with this transformer here, which I stole out of the tape deck, every 16 volts I put in the secondary coil, I get 100 and 20 volts out of the primary. This has a maximum capability on this transformer of 1200 volts. Granted, the secondary would probably burn up in a matter of seconds for the primary. And that's basically it. So let's get down to what you guys really want. Let's give me some small comments. I still have the glass of water I used from the last experiment. Still has the essence of the small motor that was popping. Little plastic shavings everywhere. Didn't even see. Now, give you what you want. I found this motor out of the same RC car that I popped the other motor out of, and I thought that was quite a nifty little motor. Open sides. Figured it'd be a Good pop candidate. Watch it fill its guts. So, get right down to it. Start her out at 25. Make sure my contacts are right. 25 volts.
don't want to pop it right away now, do I? Mmm, flat out, 25 volts. What do you say? More voltage. Go ahead and keep your arm up to 50, shall we? Let's see how long it lasts on here. It's making bubbles. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I do believe she popped. There's no turning. She's cooking. Listen, you hear it sizzle? It sounds angry. Let me turn this heat off. Make sure I'm not going too many hands. What do you say? Let's keep it right on up 75 and see what we get. Step back just a bit. Thank you.